how to download the sound library. So up here, you've got this option, sound library, and you've then got a download option. So click on that. It'll pull up the download window. You're going to enter your information and uh, you can answer those questions if you want. Then it's going to take you to a license agreement. You're going to hit next and download it. Just follow the on-screen instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you enter your info, you'll get this. Download the zip. Once the download is complete, go to wherever it is you downloaded it. In my case, my downloads folder. Right click, extract the files here. Double click on it. Next, a quick tip here is make note of where it's putting those sound files. So in my case, it's putting them in my movies folder. Next. Be sure to read, accept, install. And then hit finish when it's done. When you go back into DaVinci Resolve, nothing will be here. What you'll need to do is shut down and restart DaVinci Resolve. Once you've relaunched DaVinci Resolve, now you have this option. So you don't get a nice long list of all the available sound effects, which would be nice. What you do have to do is search. So let's go with zipper. And you can see we get a zipper sounds effects that come back. From here, you can drag and drop them onto your timeline, add them wherever you want. If you double click on them, you can play them up here. So let's take a look. So what you can also do here, if you don't want to trim them on the timeline, you can add your in and out points up here in this window by going I for the in point, moving it forward, going out zero for the out point. In that way, when you do drag and drop it, it'll have just that little clip. Or you can move it down here. Why I told you to make note of that file path. So if you do want to know the full list of sound files that's in there, you just need to make sure to go to wherever it saved them. So in my case, it's under my movies, Fairlight Sound Library. So I can click into it and I can go medium files. And now I can look and actually see what sound files are available and then search for whatever I need. So let's say I want bartender. I can now do that. Or since these are just audio files, you can even drag and drop it into your timeline if you want. Additionally, you can actually hit this drop down here. So what it's telling it now is to go look in the Fairlight sound library, the one that you downloaded. But if you have a local database of sound effects, you can actually add that as well. So that way you're not necessarily having to create a folder in your project. So you just go local database, Go to your add library and go to wherever that library is. There you go. And then it'll give you added successfully. Now, if I go up and search that local database, it'll give me any sound effects that I have in there. So this is really handy because normally, let's say if you're like me, in your media pool, you've got like a separate audio folder that you then use to drag into whatever project you're working on. But now you don't need to actually have that separate folder. You can just have DaVinci Resolve connect to your database and it gives you additional features like rating them and that kind of stuff. So hopefully you found that useful. Have a good day.